Alright, let's go live. Alright, boys and girls. Let's get this show on the road. Once I get the actual thing to work. There we go. Alright. Welcome back, lads and ladies. To One Piece Odyssey. Now, if you guys are watching this live on Twitch, thank you for joining. Um, but if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, before we actually begin the main, well, before I actually do anything in the gameplay, I want you guys to um, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notifications bell in case you guys want to see any other... Um, any other of my stuff, feel free to. We yeah. Let's carry on from where we're at and playing some One Piece Odyssey. If I can even remember what I'm supposed to be doing. So I've got a very, very vague understanding of what I'm supposed to be doing. So last time I was playing this um, we're still trying to find a little mover from Alabaster. Because we've gone back to Alabaster. So we've got to find a little mover. In the mausoleum, which we are currently at right now. If I could even figure it out. <laughs> can use the monkey taxi so I guess we're shit out of luck on that Just checking this quick notification not just my homeboy sending me memes noise Anyway, all right. See, I've got to find the little mover in the mausoleum. Can I get any? No, I don't want to look at my crew. Episode. Mm. No, it don't matter. We'll figure it out eventually. If I actually know where I'm going. What's, what does this button do? Oh, I've already activated it. Makes sense. So my guess is that we just gotta go... I literally looked away from the screen for a second and didn't realise what was actually going on. Alright, so. Just gotta figure out... Yeah, I just gotta figure out how am I gonna get to the move. Yeah, to the to the little mover. Alright, let's quickly change the Luffy. Okay, we got a new sop cube, which means I can finally max out exploding star. Okay, cool. I might be a bit sluggish because I did spend a few days away from 
all this. So I've mostly been stuck at work the entire time. But yeah, everyone that watched my last video, I want to say a huge, huge thanks to everyone that supported the, um, the previous video. Again, huge, huge thank you to everyone who did that for me. Alright, so let's try and figure this out correctly. So I reckon if I go further down, chances are I might actually be able to find the little fucker. Because the only way we could possibly find the little mover is if we um, go to obviously like a quicksandish kind of area. Unless I might have to cheat and look it up. Apparently Luffy cannot aim below himself. So yeah, we're pretty much like back at square one from where I was last time. Pretty much. Ooh, we'll try this way. Oh, hell yeah, there's a cube here. We got a chopper cube. There we go. Upgrade that one. Alright, is there further... Okay, so there is a further way across that way. What's in here? Burst brew. No idea what that's going to do or how that's going to help us, but I'll take it anyways. And I think I might, you know, I might have to fight this bat just to get him out of the way. Alright, Nami. Do the best girl thing and... Kill everything. <laughs> While I casually eat my um Alright, I'll I'll let Zoro also kill this thing. While I try and eat my cream egg bar. <laughs> See this is why. Nami, hands down. Nami, hands down, best character. Mm. Fucking love cream eggs. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Apologies in advance if the noise of me obviously loving this fucking cream egg is making some of those uncomfortable. Oh, so I had to be, like, a little further back. That would have helped if I actually knew what I was doing. Yeah, there's no other way across it. Um... I can't see any other way. There probably is a way further down. I'm probably just being stupid as hell. Alright, so I've already been in there, obviously. Nope. I ain't dealing with that shit. 
that actually can deal with itself. See if it's a dead end pretty much for going this way. Let's like say I'm in the I'm in the mausoleum, but I don't know where I'm actually supposed to be going. Also, unless there was a specific route I had to take, I have no clue. I might be dumb as hell. Which, to be fair, is not really a big surprise to anyone. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it! Let's take out this lard ass first. Take out this thick boy first. No one cares who's up. Nami. Best character. Best girl. Yep. Wipe them all out. Okay, I did a decent amount of damage, but only killed one. <laughs> Okay. Everyone's getting too strong. I'm just gonna run past this bat. I need to find a way out of this mausoleum bit. Because I'm just driving myself in circles here. So I might have to cheat and actually look it up. I don't know if it's something I'm missing or if there's like a very specific area I'm supposed to be going to. And I'm just missing it entirely. Or unless... Now this might sound real stupid. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm a... <laughs> I'm, a I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Which I know I ain't saying much, but still. Do I take the risk in fighting the fat boy? Fuck it, let's fight him. Let's get that XP. Now let's do this. Um... Fuck it. Nami used to be good at this. Mm 
Mm. All right, Nami. Fuck it, happiness punch. Best move, best move, let's go. I miss anyway. <laughs> no matter what we do, Usopp's gonna take the damage. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna have to fight these seals again. <laughs> what do you wanna do, Luffy? You wanna fight him? Fuck it, let's go! work on him. Alright, let's go... Yeah. <clears throat> no? Alright then. That's a lot of damage! That's not a lot of damage. Luffy just fucking sucker punches. <laughs> okay. Damn. Alright, cool. Zoro actually did a pretty damn good move. Was it just the one? Alright, fuck it. Uh, adorable. He thinks he's. He thinks he can hurt me. Yeah, I don't need the extra XP. Usopp. Bonk him. <laughs> he didn't do shit. <laughs> Alright, Nami. Let's go. Nothing better than enjoying some One Piece and some rum and coke. Crab! Yes, I remember now, because the reason why we were hunting down this crab, it was because, um... Was it we needed to get across... Quicksand. And I've only now just realized with that crab's hairstyle... That, that crab be looking like, um... Yeah, that crab be looking like Foo Fighters from JoJo. Oh, 
<laughs> I love that. Usopp's like, no, I can't do it that way. Luffy just becomes a giga chat and turns around and is like, you know what? Fuck it, let's go! For some reason, I have a feeling there's a there's supposed to be like another cube in here. Oh well, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm gonna avoid that crocodile for now because I don't want to put up with any of that bollocks. Actually, can I use any healing items? Actually, no, because there's a save point up up above, so I can just use that instead. <clears throat> Thought that was something actually important then for a sec, but apparently not. Goodbye, Mr. Bat. Yeah, we'll return to Nanohana. But yeah, I feel like at some point soon on my YouTube channel in general, I should cover some more like One Piece content in general, considering I did mention in the last one before that I do plan on reviewing the live-action Netflix series of One Piece at some point. Mostly because of the, th the fact that I think it was like the highlight of the year. Well, of last year for me. Like getting to watch the entirety of it. And the fact that it covered the East Blue Arcs pretty damn well. Alright, let's try and find... So if I can find... If I can get to that save point. So there's a save point nearby. Yeah, if I just find, go to like the nearest safe point, wherever the fuck it is, I can just um, save the game there and then have everyone healed. Yeah, just go in front of the castle of Alabaster. So I'm pretty sure going into these things heals your characters. Yeah, it heals everyone. Kind of like with um, like when you play Pokemon and you go to a, like a Pokemon, well not a Pokemon Center, but like a Pokemon Hospital. It's like easily one of the safer places to um, yeah, it's easily one of the safer places to save your game. And also, you can just restore everything on your um, currently like partied Pokemon. But yeah, to be honest, I think I've had enough of Alabaster at this point. Should I? Yeah, fuck yeah. I can't be asked to change character. So fuck it, Luffy, go. Yeah, let's try and get back to Nanohana. To be honest, I do really like the soundtrack in this. It makes it feel so grand and adventurous. Alright. So I might have to use the monkey highway. I've already... Yeah, Nanohana. 
screw it. <laughs> I feel like I should have done that beforehand. Not gonna lie, I am feeling a little bit fatigued today because I went to work this morning. Then got fed up and then I was like, fuck it. Lim just like, bruh, calm your shit. I don't care. <laughs> no matter what shit she has to say on that last sentence, I don't give a shit. Uh, two ways to return to the state. It's a strange place. Blah, blah, blah. First, the access Memoria Cube at the beginning of Memoria, and the second is to speak to Lim at the camp. Uh, Memoria Cube will appear at the camp when Lim is in there. Da, 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 so return to the access in there. You may not be able to return depending on the progress through the story. Okay, so. Cool. Don't give a fuck. As long as I know more of these fucking god awful game well not awful game mechanics, more like slightly irritant. Alright, Wafford. Let's go back to Wafford. Cause we need the cram. I really shouldn't criticize this game, I mean this game is actually not that bad. I'm just being an asshole. Exquisite Yikes, we gotta take down the, um, yeah, we gotta take down one of the other big robots. Alright, Ido, let's go. Cool. But no, I feel like if there was gonna be, like, another One Piece game to be made, I feel like we should have one that's similar to, um, like, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Where Dragon Ball Z Kakarot retold the story of all of Dragon Ball Z, we should have one that retells the entire story of One Piece. But you do like a game for each arc, or like do one main arc and then do the others as like DLC or some shit. To be fair, I would be in the same position as Sanji is. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm a so mad at Sanji. Sweet. Yeet. But no, I do know that like, in my spare time when I'm not obviously playing this or when I'm not at work, the rest of the time I'm literally at, um, I'm literally just like reading manga at the moment because I know recently I, on my Instagram, if anyone follows me on Instagram, um, yeah, I've been reading um, the most recent volume of Jojo, well, the one that's been released in English, um, Stone Ocean Volume 2. Oh, what's that? And I've recently also just read um, the most recent volume, well, the most recent English volume of My Dress Up Darling as well. 
Alright, so I need to go down. And at the moment, I'm going to be binge reading the entirety of Goodnight Pinpin. Oh, cool, we've got another Luffy cube. Uh, yeah, we'll upgrade Gum Gum Bazooka. Gotta go to Bendigo to get my cube! But uh, to be honest though, when it comes to like anime games in general, I would like to see more anime games. Like, we got like obviously ones from all the bigger animes out there, like One Piece, Dragon Ball, the usual shit really. <laughs> Bro, I love that optimism. <laughs> what if it was a trap? Then we deal with it. <laughs> But yeah, fucking um, yeah, I'd love to see some like more anime games be done. Like other outside like all the bigger popular ones. Like I know we had the One Punch Man game that just came out. Well, as of this recording, it came out yesterday. We also had um, I believe the Jujutsu Kaisen game has only just come out as well. And obviously we had um, a couple of Attack on Titan games come out as well. And a shitload of like, Sword Art on well I say a shitload of Sword Art Online games. We've had a few SAO games and a few Seven Deadly Sins games as well. Okay, so it's another locating quest. Let's go. I'm gonna unlock my inner Resident Evil brain cells. And be like, yes, I need this, this, and this. And then I need to go back to this bit so I can find this and open this. Oh, yay. Light puzzles. Yeah, I feel like one door that we open is going to be com like almost entirely useless. Beam! Okay, so that's the obvious way on how to open the doors. So you got to use the light to open the doors. Yeah, leave it to Zoro. Slice and dice. Done. I have no clue what the hell it does, but fuck it. Alright, so what if I try opening... Ooh, there's another door over there. If I try... Alright. Yeah, 
The only reason that Chopper is actually ever useful in this game is when I need to go to a place that I cannot go myself. Alright, cool. Alright, so Luffy cannot go over that way. So I need to go back to being Chopper. I'll admit, the only thing I don't like about playing as Chopper is is the fact that when you go through those tunnel segments you literally cannot sprint. Like the game literally forbids you from sprinting. Okay, let's try and figure this shears out. Okay. I have a feeling they're all going to connect in one way anyway. Almost got flashbanged by my own fucking TV then. Yo, it was just like some Indiana Jones shit. Yep, Zora, do it. Because somehow, I was going to say somehow that like, you're the only character that can cut shit down. But then again, dude with three swords definitely would. And what do you know, it's another item. Okay. I want to know if is Chopper able to do anything in this current situation? Oh, that was close. I, I have no interest in getting into a fight. Okay, so... Oh, actually... This... Oh, so I can't use it. Okay. So, what if... All right, I might have to switch back to Luffy for a sec. I'll explore about a little bit. See if there's anything I can try. Or anything I might be able to... Well, see if my dumbass can figure out any of it. Unless I might have to kick the crap out of this thing. 
Yeah, I might have to fight it to get through first. Alright, there we go. Killed majority of the things. Alright, we're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do some base attacks. Yo, that's actually a pretty solid move. Hey, we've got 10,000 berry. <laughs> okay. Now, is there a way to reset any of these? Which I very highly doubt. <laughs> Oh, wait, actually. Actually, there might be. Because of that button we had at the beginning, I think. Yeah, because I remember. Yeah. No. Shit. What I want to know is, is how in the faint am I going to do this? Unless there's something I was supposed to do already, but then I completely balls it up. So the observation hockey ain't doing shit. Alright, unless I have to go to the next room and then try and see if there's anything in there. Or unless the puzzle resets by the time I go back in there. Yeah, no, they don't, so I'm pretty much screwed, really, at this point.
Let's see what we got up here. Okay. Ah, so you gotta go all the way around to try and figure this shiz out. And I might have to fight a giant fucking beetle. Oh yeah, I forgot we had a, um... Cube for Usopp. Alright, so let's do Usopp's hammer. Give some more, um... Give some more damage. Alright, let's beat up this rhino beetle. Alright, Nami's doing some pretty solid moves. What's going to work? Teamwork. Tempesta. Captain Usopa. Yeah, we got a cube fragmentation for Chopper. Hold up. See, I can't use Gum Gum Rocket. See, I might have to figure this shit out. Which means I'm going to have to use my brain for once, and I don't like using my brain. take a risk and try to figure this shiz out
I really wish I knew what that button actually did. So I pressed it earlier, I had no idea what the fuck it was supposed to do. But it did something. I'm just gonna try and kill everything that I see at this point. Already. That did do shit. But that did a lot. Okay. Give <laughs> you a second though. I'm gonna beat up the monkey. Okay. Uh, I feel like I did something. I have no clue what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. It feels like I'm missing a vital piece of a puzzle here. Alright, so Robin doesn't have any special abilities. What about Sanji? Like, mentally, I'm just stuck.
Hmm. Oh, this is starting to frustrate me a little bit. This is starting to become really frustrating for me. Like somehow no one has the ability to dig. This is where I find out that this is where it fucking actually did its thing, didn't it? God fucking damn it! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Wait, no, if it's flipped, then that means that the other place would be that way. So I'm going to save. Because this is hurting my skull a bit too much. Wait, was that a... I thought I saw a cube then. Which means that last door should, hopefully, be open. Or at least I should be able to open it. Okay, so I'm now getting my head around how these puzzles work. My brain hurted. But, on the one hand, at least I'm finding more shit. Cool, I can now make Sanji a little bit stronger.
Yeah, so I need to go down to where that, um... Oh, that was close, because I'm not looking for a fight right now. Okay, so what I can do... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I have, like, a brighter understanding of what I want to do. Good. Fucking damn it, Luffy cannot jump over certain rails. So it seems. Okay. Right. Alright, so I need to know... Yeah. Alright, so if I switch to Usopp... There we go! Now it opens the door! So yeah, we'll need to rotate the room. Again! I need to stare at some fine ass before I do anything. Okay, so now that we've solved that bit, we can now flip the room. I'm just gonna skip it, I don't care. Alright. Now I should be able to reach that one room and grab the thingy. But then probably by the time I get in there, there'll probably be a fucking boss. Like I find out there's a boss in that room and I just die a little inside. Alright, so we got one of the thingies. We got one of the things I'm gonna shove into the thing, which will then hopefully do something. <sighs> There's one more room. There's a big gecko. It's an angry version of the Geico Gecko. <laughs> Ineffective. Go Zoro. That was pathetic. <laughs> And that was also pathetic. Get to. Bro. Uh. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Now we can do our uh, best moves. Because Nami so far just has the best moves. <laughs> Sp 
special attack. Damn. Let's do the jet whip. All right, that did a bit of better damage. <laughs> Luffy is bleeding. Yeah, but that ain't gonna do shit. All right, let's do a slightly weaker attack, but more focused on that. Okay. Ooh, okay. Nami did some uh, pretty strong uh, stats then. Alright, the big, the Geico Gecko is now dead. Exclusive star. <laughs> Luffy, go for it. Show him what it means to be a true captain. <laughs> One survives. <laughs> Oh, he died on his own? Okay. <laughs> I was actually prepped to change the Nami then for a second. I was like, okay. Is there a special chest in here or not? Nope. Okay. Alright, so go back to the main room. So it took me... What felt like forever to try and figure that shit out. Because I is... Really fucking stupid. But now I know. And knowing is half the battle. So what I'll do is, I'm a flip the world upside down now where is that save point aha yeah I'll use the save point to recharge everyone's health there we go no I'm going the wrong way I need to go this way Alright, I'm getting my confidence back now. Slowly but surely. Yeah, 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 we get it. The thing, the, the room flipped. Alright. Let's find the best way to go about this. So now what I've got to do is I've got to try and figure out how to get across all of it with I know the shit my sheer will. All 
Alright, to be fair, that was an adorable sneeze from Chopper. Cube. Pick up the cube, Nami. Alright, cool. We got the Nami cube. There we go, Cyclone Tempo. I completely forgot, like, mostly how the cubes actually work. Or it's frightened. There's... Oh, we don't have to fight the. Oh. Never mind then. Or it's there's two beetles we've got to fight. Zora, go. Yeet. Shit, that did a lot of damage. Use gum gum storms. I haven't used it yet properly. I think the only time I've ever I've, we've seen Gum Gum Storm be used in this game was when um okay so it's resistant to that resistant to that resistant to that resistant to that there's no point in using Smoke Star Hammer all right it says he's resistant to that but I don't it says he was resistant to it but he dies anyway <laughs> Usopp is more powerful than we give him credit for. Now a lot of y'all might be suspecting Is I an army simp? Yeah Yes I forgot this dude had a fucking devil fruit power Sweet. Now we can go back. I mean, to be fair, the only way I can easily describe Nami is the same way I used on my previous um, thumbnail. Nami is just 250% perfect whammon. But then it also comes down to like the big debate from like from what you'd get like in your friends group like who is your class's best girl in one piece like out of the straw hat pirates out of the two women that are there who would you say is best girl being either nami or robin now i'd say out of the two i would say it depends on preference but what's your fair with every best girl opinion it always comes down to preference All right, let's flip the world back. Skip. Skip that boring ass cutscene. And now, let's put two pieces of a puzzle together. All right, boss fight time. Let's go. Down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Alright, let's do another Colossus fight. I wonder what move we're gonna unlock this time.
I'm just gonna watch my back until I get to the fucking Colossus fight. Monkey. Alright, so we're automatically locked in a monkey fight. Alright, Luffy, do what you gotta do, my dude. That was shit! <laughs> Big dong shock. Damn. Alright, Zora's gonna do some major damage. Alright, Luffy can tank that shit. I mean, Nami's taking a lot more damage than what I expected her to. NPC damage for the win. Yo, Zora fucking tanked that shit harder than Luffy. Okay. Oof. All right. We have to use some basic attacks. Damn. Okay. I'm getting my ass handed to me right now. Let's say everyone's taking like really bad damage. That should not be a waste to yeah, be a waste of the battle skills. Yeah. Alright. One monkey down. I'll take out two more monkeys and two more seals. Alright, Luffy um, automatically attacking, I like that. Pathetic. Yes. Alright, major damage, let's go. Dead, dead, okay. 
We we we'd fuck with this. Alrighty, Luffy. Don't think this will kill him though. No. Missed. Big hammer. The little clonk noise just sells it for me. Okay. Okay. Monkey fall. Yes. And Zoro, finish the fight. Hell yeah. We got this, guys. See, that is why guns and swords are always the best combination. I feel like there should be a save point nearby. I need to be a bit closer for that. Alright, so the save point's up there. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll have a look. I've only been playing for about an hour and 20 minutes. Cool. Alright, so let's have a look. So, my guess is we got to try and get all the thingies to point to the door. Yeah, because they're all going to paint, not paint, um, they're all going to point in a similar direction, I'm assuming. There we go. Yay! We did it! I did the puzzle! Alright, before, because I I don't know if the boss fight's on the other end of that door, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save, just to be on the safe side. Let's go. Alright, boss fight. <laughs> We need to deck this dude so we can get the cube. We need to deck this motherfucker. Alright, so we've got a couple cube fragments. Alright, Usopp, yep. Zoro. Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Usopp, Zoro. I just want to double check cube count. Yep. 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 Alright, seems legit. Hold on. There you go. Much, much better. Now, I want to have a quick little look around. In case there might be another cube nearby. 
by the looks of it no all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get right into the fight in a moment as soon as I can get my surroundings once I learn how to figure out how to go the other way around clearly alright so I can't go up that way okay I get you so it's literally just platform by platform <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> there we go, that's what I wanted. Open up the treasure chest. Why did they even bother making a platform area like this? Like, honestly, what's the point? Alright, I'm hoping this. Oh, sh fucking hell! Ah, oh, for God's sake. I know I'm dragging this out a lot more than what it actually needed to be, but Christ. Right. No! I didn't want to do the boss fight just yet! Coolio, let's get this boss fight over with. First of all, I'm going to hit hard and fast. Wait, what does more damage gum gum do? Do I hit him with... Yeah, fuck it. Let's hit him with gum gum. Yeah, jet bazooka. I know it barely did damage, mostly because of the fact this is a real boss. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this move. Alright, I did a little bit better damage. Alrighty. That was a waste. Yay! Luffy is now a little bit stronger. Ooh. Alright, it's not so bad when it happens to Luffy. 
because we know Luffy can take it. Alright, screw it, we'll try that again. Alright. Okay. No, I can't do the happiness punch because it's fucking stupid. Alright, classic move, let's go. That was pathetic, Nami. Alright. Alright, new move. New move, let's go. Let's fuck with this. Alright, gum gum storm it, let's go. Alright, that's a bit better. Alright, I like that. I'll fuck with that. Alright, so I've got to kick the shit out of this thing with Luffy. Yo, Usopp fucking took a beating. Alright, Usopp better use an item. Oh, for fuck's sake, Zoro. Alright, since Luffy can probably tank this... Alright, screw it. Everyone gets a heal.
Okay. Come on! Alright, Luffy's doing some better damage now. Damn, Zoro is taking a fucking beating. <laughs> Alright, everyone gets a heal. Because, yeah, to be fair, everyone's going to need it, including Zoroho. Alright, I don't care if he's resistant to it. I'm going to give it a try anyway. Wait, how much damage did that do? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> Fucking what? <laughs> Alright, Usopp, you, you deserve to take damage because of that. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we're just gonna chip away at him now. Yeah, we're just gonna chip away at him. There's no, there's no point in using special moves now because I don't think anyone can actually use any special moves. Perform him. Alright, now let me fucking tank that, surprisingly. Actually, alright, Zora's got some points left, so I can... I can do at least a bit of damage. Alright, that's better. Alright, everyone takes a bit of damage from that, okay. Let's do this. Oh, I didn't take him out. Alright, you know what? Nami. Nami, best girl. End the fight. <laughs> yeah! Let's go, baby! And my favorite fuckboy is now stronger. That boss fight took a bit longer than what I expected it to. 
Alright, what new moves are we learning now? Alright, cool. Ah, yes. Just like any normal man, I am going to pretend I know what they're saying. <laughs> I was throwing my own mouth and for some reason. Like, this is like when you just see like fucking Enaru shows up and he's like, sup. <laughs> Ooh, a fleet admiral. Alright, so I'm gonna... No! Ah... Uh, shit. <laughs> I wanna grab that stone tablet first, because I accidentally jumped instead of pressing the another button. Because my brain fucking short-circuited. <laughs> My brain literally turned around and went, no. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Old musky tablet. Alright, now I'm on this higher level. There's gotta be. Oh, I see a cube over there, but I want to see what's over here first. Like, even a chest would be fine. Yes. Even though it's all shit I'm not going to use. <laughs> I'm going to quickly run over. Grab the cube. Cube. Alright, it's a Zoro cube. Okay. There we go. Make Zoro a bit stronger. Because we all love Zoro. Everyone loves the green-haired buffoon. Actually, shall I change up the... Yeah, I'm going to change up the party a little bit. So, let's have a look. Right, I'm going to get rid of Usopp. And replace him with Chopper. Yeah. Because I feel like we need to use Chopper a bit more. Alright, save the game. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, fuck it. I can't use the fast travel. Okay, cool. Thought I could use it, but apparently not. Say, has someone been messaging me? Nope, it was just a regular Instagram notification. Alright, that's kind of clever. An elevator that just runs on sand. Oh. I have to interact with it, I can't actually just jump onto it. That's annoying. Hey, on the one hand, at least I don't have to go across that entire fucking sand.
I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. Well, then she didn't need to worry about the tablet because I already fucking picked it up. Oh, Brooke is still there. As you do. Where are we going? Ooh. Does this mean we go into Water 7? Big water fountain? Yo! <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kick the shit out of CP9. Let's go. <laughs> do, I, do I get to fight Luchi? Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna take fucking revenge after him pummeling my shit in. Oh, okay. Zora's got some new moves. Alright. All right. All right. Let's skip. Let's skip all that. Yeah. All right. So a lot of the characters now have expansions now. Accessory slots. Accessory slots. Cool. Yeah, because this is the chapter three now that we're on. About fucking ten hours in. And I'm now only just getting to here. To be fair, I think to, I believe to my knowledge, is this... Is this the first game to actually include Water 7? Yo, we're traveling with the Going Merry again. Oh, does this mean we got, we have to fucking watch the Going Merry get destroyed again? Oh, we're on chapter 4. Okay. But yo, to be fair, this was like probably one of my favorite arcs. In the manga. Like, hands down. Water 7. Like, out of all the arcs I've read only in the manga, Water 7 easily my favourite. Well, you're a bit wrong there, Usopp. It wasn't Water 7 where you said goodbye. It was more Ennis Lobby. Alright, that, that is a bit touching. Because, yeah, Usopp originally... Well, I say Usopp originally wasn't there when the Mary got destroyed, but he was. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game here. And I am going to exit the game. Because I'm going to save the start of water 7 for the next live stream or the next youtube upload after this when this eventually um comes out but yeah like i said before if you guys saw this on youtube uh thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that jazz um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you lovely lads and ladies in the next one.